Welcome to today's lesson on comparing numbers to the billions place. Today, you're going to learn how to compare numbers and compare their place value to decide which number is greater. Let's begin. So let's say we have the number 24,362. And we want to compare it to the number 58,299. Do you know how you could compare these two numbers? Well, our first step, you have to line up the numbers. You want to make sure that you line up the ones place first. So we have our ones place lined up, our tens place lined up, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Once you have the place values lined up, you then look at the largest place value amount. So in this case, for these two numbers, it's the ten thousands place. Which number has a larger amount in the 10 thousands place? 24,362 or 58,299? Since 5 is greater than 2, that means that 58,299 is the larger number. If we were to break apart the 10 thousands place, this 2 would represent 2 10 thousands or 20,000. If we were to break apart the 5, it would equal 5 10 thousands or 50,000. We know that 50,000 is larger than 20,000. So we know that 58,299 is the larger number. Let's go ahead and go through a practice problem together, this time working in the billions place. Let's say that we have the number 5,489,000,000. 932,298. And we need to compare this number to 5,491,964,801. If I were to compare these two numbers, we know our first step is lining up each of the place values. And since we're using a chart, we already know that all of our place values are lined up. We have our ones place lined up, tens place, hundreds place, and so forth. So now we need to go all the way over here to the billions place, and we need to compare the amount of billions each number has. Now since each number has a value of five billions, we need to move over to the hundred millions column because these both have the same value of billions. They have five billion. All right, the hundred millions column, each number has the same amount. They both have 400 million. So now we need to move over to our next place value, which is the 10 millions place. Here's a difference. We have 5,489,000,000. So we have an eight in the 10 millions place. And for this number, we have a 9 in the 10 millions place. So that means that this number has a representation of 80 million. This number has 90 million. So that means that our bottom number in blue is going to be the larger number. Let's go ahead and go through a practice problem. I'm going to give you two numbers, and I want you to compare and see which number is larger. Let's go. I want you to tell me if 919,463 is larger than 1,001,001. All right, let's go through our steps together. We know that our first step is lining up the place values starting with the ones place. So we have a three in the ones place and a one in the ones place. We have our tens place lined up, hundreds place, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions place. So now our next step is to move over to the largest place value that we see and compare those numbers. Well, our top number doesn't have a value in the millions place. So that means that our bottom number is going to be the largest number. Well done. Let's take a moment to review what you've learned in today's lesson. When you're comparing numbers, you need to make sure that you're lining up the place values. 
So if I wanted to compare 545,612 to 6,398, I would first start by lining up each of the place values. You're going to start with the ones place and make sure that the ones place is lined up, then the tens, hundreds, and thousands. Since our bottom number doesn't have any place value for the ten thousands or hundred thousands, we are going to leave it blank. And lastly, we're going to start in the largest place value represented. Since our top number has a value in the hundred thousands place and our bottom number does not, that means that our top number is the larger number.